Alright, so today, hopefully, is the last tilapia video in a while, because today, we're going to kill them. So just real quick, uh, what happened, uh, I mentioned you know, in a video a long time ago that uh, I wasn't going to carry them through the winter, and well, it's December down here now, middle of December in Houston, and heck, it was just 80 degrees yesterday and the day before, but uh, ultimately, it's starting to get colder, and uh, about a week ago, we had a malfunction, the heater malfunctioned again, and melted down again, and it's my fault because I've got it sitting in the bottom of the sump, well the sump went dry, heater overheated, it should have had an auto shut off, but it failed I guess, so it melted itself out again, luckily it didn't burn anything down, but I'm not going to rebuild it again, um, I meant to kill these fish probably a month ago, so what I've got here is a bucket of ice water, the tilapia obviously they're warm water fish, they can't live in cold water, um, so I throw them in there, pretty well stun them immediately, and I uh, will kill them in the same process. Um, but it should, you know, lock them up and kind of keep everything really well preserved uh, versus pulling them out and trying to let them just sit out in the air and suffocate. It should kill them pretty well right away. But right now I'm just draining the tank down. I've got the main drain open, draining it down just so I can net them out a little bit easier. So I'm going to catch them out of here. I'm not going to film that just because it's going to take forever. Catch them out, throw them in the bucket, and then we'll start up up on the uh, deck where we'll skin them. Okay, so I got them caught out, and um, I guess my water's not quite cold enough, but it is killing them. Um, the big guy there flapping his tail, he's, he's basically already dead, just twitching, and uh, I just put the other three in that I caught. There's only four in here that were eating size, which is kind of sad. I mean, everything we've been through, you know, at one point I had three or four hundred of these fish, and you guys have seen the catastrophes that had happened. But um, the sad part is that the two biggest ones in here was our, our breeding pair, and uh, we had kind of grown grown attached. I'm going to get a good video of this guy once I'm butchering, but uh, I know my wife's sad about it, but, you know, we'll get more. Uh, we're just at a point right now where we're way too busy with the kids and everything else that, you know, this is this is one more project that we really don't need to be fooling with, so uh, I'm trying to get everything just kind of shut down and cleaned up, so anyway, sad story. We had grown attached. He's a big, beautiful male, um, but we'll get more. In the tank here, all I've got left couple of smaller ones maybe. Yeah, I'll see if I can catch that one out. That one might get a fillet. Um, but the other ones are all too small. Um, I'm just going to catch them out and throw them in the chicken coop and see if the chickens want to peck them apart. And if not, I'll just let them suffocate. I have to make sure 100% that they're dead though. I'm not just going to throw them out in the woods because it is raining and God forbid these things found their way washed to the creek. I couldn't handle that with them being assumed a uh, invasive species so I will make sure 100% that they are dead 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 before I dump them out or anything with them but let me get them up here to the deck and start skinning okay so there's the first one done up and uh, it had to practice a little bit it's, it's been uh, probably six seven years since I filleted a fish concept very simple of course um, what I do I start in the tail here make my cut across the tail and then I run my knife down their spine and then across there, right behind their gills. And on this one, I left a chunk of meat right here behind the head, so I need to make a curve cut there on the next one. This one just kind of a demo, but you see the important thing is, I don't have to gut the fish at all. And uh, these fish actually, they fillet out super easy because they're such a such a narrow profile fish. You know, something like a catfish that has a, a rounder body, um, you have to go way out and around the ribs, but these fish are so narrow that actually uh, they fillet up pretty nice. You can see a little, little strip of belly meat I left on there. I was struggling a little bit because I've been using my fillet knife now for three years on beer removals instead of filleting fish, so it's a little dull. Uh, but I went in the house and just got a kitchen knife. It's a little bit sharper, but anyway, this was one of the medium-sized ones, and uh, or medium to large, I guess. And here's the fillet that I got out of her. So I haven't skinned it yet. I'm trying to decide if I want to skin it or if I just want to scale it. I'm probably gonna try to skin it, um, so I don't have to worry about the scales at all. But not too bad. Little fillet to get out of them. Uh, but I'm excited to see what the real big male gives me, so let me keep working. Okay, got all of them done except for the big guy. Save the best for last, well, I hope. Hopefully the bigger ones aren't harder to skin somehow, but um, a little ball of fillets here so far, not too bad. This big guy, I'm excited about. Um, but a couple little tricks I've, I've learned, like I said, just probably people out there that skin fish all the time, they're going to think this is silly, but you know, even a dead fish, it's still hard to hold on to. And I've seen people get special gloves and stuff, but I don't have them. But what I found is I try to put my thumb or my finger in their mouth and hang on tight. And that's kind of a good spot to get a hold on. And then I start my knife in up here on the corner where the meat's the thickest and there's less risk of, you know, puncturing a rib and getting in the guts or something. Because I, I did get guts on one of them. Which I didn't puncture the guts, but they, they came squirting out through a hole I cut in the ribs. But start up here in this top corner 
and then your knife, even though it's a smooth blade, if you use kind of a sawing action, it'll help you break through the scales because the scales are actually surprisingly tough. Um, so I'll saw my way down here along the front edge, saw my way along the backbone and all the way down through the tail, get this cut loose, and then to avoid possibly puncturing the guts, then I take my fillet off and the last thing I do is I make this cut along the bottom. So let's go ahead and get this last big guy skinned out and I'll show you what he gets. All right, so just for grins, I took, I've got him filleted out, put him on the scale, and total weight is about one and three quarter pounds. So now if we take off the fillets, and we set old bones and guts here off to the side. Now let's see what the actual fillets weigh. Let me get my scale calibrated there. This is about the junkiest scale you can ever buy. So one and three quarter pounds, and about a half pound of fillets. So if you figured a two pound fish gives you half if you figure a two pound fish gives you half pound of fillets, that's a 25% efficiency. So I don't know, um, you know, I'm sure there's there's a number out there on what's the optimal size to grow them to optimal size to kill them. I really think two pounds is a, a bit on the big side. He was a big fish, but um, a lot of guts, a lot of extra mass that it's not really recoverable. I mean, I'll give it to the chickens and see what they pick out of it, but you know, no to good for me. So, anyway, um, all that being said, let's see what we got in here total. Whoops. Let's get the drag out. Let me cut this off. All right, so I weighed it up. Total here out of my fillets. Um, I got about a pound and a half of fillets, and half of those came from one fish. So, you know, not a lot. Certainly would take. Uh, pick a lot of fish to make a massive meal, but, um, you know, for <laughs> all the time and effort and everything I've put into this whole system, I got a pound and a half of fillets, and I haven't even skinned them yet, so you figured skinning me might lose a little bit more, but, you know what, whatever, uh, it was fun, I learned a lot, and, um, you know, I'm not writing it off forever, just writing it off for now.